Whiskey. Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American over here in Germany, tasting rare and exotic whiskies. Today I have something from Ireland, the bridge from the Loch Re Distillery. This is a single cask release. This is single malt Irish whiskey, non-chilled filtered, natural color, 43%. Mm, could have been a little bit more. And it's called the Rindun. R-I-N-D-O-O-N, and this is one of 306 bottles. Whiskey base number 193538. So the interesting thing is this actually spent about 12 years in a bourbon cask, ex-bourbon cask, nothing about a first fill bourbon cask. Um, this is from Cooley Juice. It actually says so on the website. And um, then it, it received a 22-month finish in Mont Basiliac. Casks. I practice that word. So first of all, Lochrie. I've had. I have two older um, editions of Lochrie distilleries. Also the bridge. This is the uh, Tusme, and they used to have on the caps this little thing there um, branded. Um, their website is www.lrd. Dot um, ie, uh, but the new ones don't have it. Oh, I do like the bottle. Very, very nice bottle. Clear design. Very, very nice. Next, I will be um, reviewing this nice little light monster here of a whiskey. I can actually see through it. Um, <laughs> this is also single malt, and uh, this is probably the Great Northern. All right, just bourbon matured. So, what am I going to compare it to? Um, you're probably going to go, Jason, no, but yes, it's a tomaten. It's a single malt scotch. Why? Because it is from a Mon Basiliac cask. Now, this is at 46%, if I remember correctly. Yep. And um, costs about 40 euros less. Ah, 35 euros less. Now, this is 120 euros in um, England. Oh, excuse me, in Ireland. Uh, <coughs> Celtic Whiskey Shop has it. Um, they have it on the website as well by Lochery, and over here in Germany, I'm paying because of taxes and so on, only 104 euros and 90 cents. Isn't that crazy? Whiskey, Irish whiskey is in Germany much cheaper than it is over there in Ireland. Now, many of you have probably not heard of the Lochery distillery yet, but you might have heard of something called Slingshot Gin. That's them. All right, so they're producing a lot of gin. They do have some type of vodka as well, I think. What is it called here? Um, your spirits. They have Slingshot Gym and they have vodka. <laughs> what is the vodka called? I don't know. And um, it's called Zesty Citrus Vodka. All right. They also have an Irish Gin and they have the Slingshot Gin. Very, very good. So, and um, they have these things. The bridge, why is it's right between the... Um, <clears throat> beginning up until the creation of their own distillery. So it's bridging that time with source whiskeys. No problem. Thank you very much for telling us. The only thing I must mention is I have been following Lachery now for three plus years. And we are building a distillery. Still no distillery. I hope they get a distillery soon where they can actually um, make their whiskey. That'd be great then I'd be actually interested in buying a cask there, if that's possible. All right. So all these empty promises here from Jason. Yeah, I'm going to buy a cask. So um, now what surprised me was the fact that if something is good in Irish whiskey at the moment, and it's available in Ireland, and there's only 306 bottles or something, it's sold out within, I'm going to say the word days. This has been up there for weeks now. It's still available in Germany. It's still available at the website of the distillery. And it's still, it's still available at the Celtic Whiskey Shop. That's not really promising. Mm. What's the reason? Is the whiskey itself not great? Or is that cask finish not great? Now, for those of us who do, that do not know um, um, this type of um, cask finish, the... Let's see here. I got something over here. I like this. All right. Jamie Oliver. We know him, right? That cook and so on. He actually declared um, Mon Basilic uh, to be the best budget dessert wine. It's basically almost like a Zoltan, 
Um, almost the same region, almost the same grapes. They do use a tiny little bit more of the... Um, Wow, what type of grapes are they called that they use more of? They use a little bit more of the Moscadella, um, uh, is used a bit, a little bit more. They can only do, uh, no me mechanical harvesting is allowed with the, um, the Mon Basilicac. Um, since 1993, they haven't been allowed to do any harvesting um, with mechanical devices. Everything has to be by hand. It's all a very, very, very labor-intensive thing. Now over here, I really get that finish. It pops out at me. That tomatin is barely even recognizable. I would not have recognized it. And um, that Mon Balizic is very, very strong. Almost too strong. And for me, it's, a, it's, it's like a um, Zaltan, as I mentioned, with Balmazic um, vinegar on it. Yeah, if we have a very thick and rich and expensive um, moment there that we can put, use, and that's what I'm getting here. Over here, it's much weaker. But what I do get, and that's really, really distressing for me, is this green birch oak moment. I usually only get it from very, very young whiskeys. Now, this is not young. The calculated age is 14 years. It was distilled in 2006. It spent 22 months in that um, Mon Balzic um, cask. And yet, <laughs> I don't know. I don't get it. What's going on here? So the market in Ireland for uh, matured stock, 12 years plus, is basically absolutely empty. It's sold out. Everyone that tried to buy stock has bought stock. And if you go over there, I was looking at a cask the other day. From, it was Cooley. It was 20 years old and it was 35,000 pounds or euros for one cask. <laughs> and that's just the cask with enough um, whiskey in it for 180 bottles. Wow! That's just um, just 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 wow, unbelievable. And uh, that's the prices at the moment that people are asking for things like that. So the 120 euros, 104 euros for this is extremely high. And yet, unfortunately, those are some of the prices that we're going to have to get used to for our independently bottled whiskey at a certain age from Ireland. Now, my other concern is, um, why was this cast still in the market? How many people passed over this cast before the people at Loch Ree actually said, okay, we'll take it? And normally what happens is we don't even get samples anymore. You just have to buy it on the paper and just buy it from the, oh, that's got to be a good whiskey. Okay, very good. You get it. Oh, no, what are we going to do? We'll just finish it then. We could sell it to someone else and find hopefully someone else that's going to buy it without trying it. Or we're going to try to transform the whiskey into something nice using something special. And this was the very first um, Irish whiskey ever matured in that sweet, fortified wine. It's not really fortified. It's just that sweet wine of um, Mont Balazic. Good. Let's try it. Cheers. Wow, <clears throat> that green birch oak note, that birch sap note, not oak, birch sap, really does, does come through. And I'm sorry to tell you, it's not from, just from the Mon, but, uh, zil, but well, I can't say that anymore, Mon Basilic casks, because if I try this, the taste is actually much more intensive and it's not bad I like Sautan I like this as well the problem with this one there's a tiny little bit of sulfur in there not tiny there's sulfur in here not bad but there's sulfur here there was no sulfur very good very very good wherever you got your um, your um, your cask from from the um, Mont Balazic uh, well done 
Mm. There's a little bit left here from my video, from my German video, that's why. Um, much more intensive, much more of that Sultan moment, much more of that type of dunnage warehouse type of a um, little bit of that funkiness, like a basement type of um, a moment here. It's not bad, actually. I kind of like this. I would not drink it. I would not buy it again. But if it was given to me, I would not just leave the glass and um, half empty or half full and move on to something else. This is something I would actually enjoy and share and has a unique flavor pro profile. This also has a unique flavor profile, but not in my wheelhouse. This is not something I can recommend and not something I can really, really enjoy. And now I think I know why there are still 306 um, of the 306 bottles. There's still some left um, in the shop of the distillery, in the Celtic whiskey shop, as well as in the German shop. And I'm sure the price was not something that invited people to buy try, try before you buy or buy before you try um it's it's a steep price to pay to get in the club to open up the bottle i mean come on 120 euros 105 euros is a lot of money i can get two red breast 12 year old cast strengths for the price of this over here in germany at least i would much rather have um, a red breast 12 and a red breast cask, um, cast strength. Put those together. That's the price, basically. Yummy, yummy, yummy. This, mm, not really. I'm going to give it a C minus, D plus for the taste, a D for the value for money. I'm so sorry, Lochery. Um, I wish you all the best. I hope the next whiskey I taste is so much better. I'm going to do another video from you as well. And I hope that you um, get rid of these bottles and get enough finances set up so you can actually start distilling at your new distillery, which means building the building, having all the permits through, and also being able to build and construct a building in these dumb COVID times. Mm. Difficult, expensive, and time-consuming. Whiskey Jason here. Question of the day. Which um, bottlings have you seen out there with a um, Mon Baz Basilic? Um, cast finish. They seem to be uh, becoming more and more popular, at least a little bit here and there with exotic um, experimental bottlers. All the best. See you soon. Whiskey Jason. Bye-bye.